Let's go. Well, I mean, it was worth it, though, because, like, I, I did all my chips over, which is pretty nice. I completely more or less cleared out. By the way, I think this is 60 right there for a second. I, I, we, were, we pretty much cleared out basically everything. All right. There's something written here, too. It reads, Soul Box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, the, what was the last one? The meat box? So now this is the soul box. Why is the blade, like, attached like this? It's actually really interesting. I mean, if it works, I mean, so be it, but, you know, it's just kind of weird. No enemies? Yeah, no way. It's a, it's a hacking box. That's what it is. It's a hacking trial. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I hate these. Can't see them now. Full recovery. Oh, I get it. I have to break the system protection before I can reach the core. Huh. So that's how it works. As a reward for trying to understand machine life forms via frequency. Oh no. Now they're just messing with us. <laughs> You hack us to try to understand us, Ninus. Faith. Oh, wow. Look at all the machine life forms you've murdered. Such dogged precision is worthy of a special present. Yeah, the weapon. They gave me a, a weapon. A sword wielded by a loyal attendant. What? Oh, shit! That's hilarious. They haven't done top-down in a long time. Oh, God. The whole... The whole wall is... Uh... Excellent. Alright, now I know what I'm getting myself into. This is what you actually do. You just stay camping in here, basically. The only peek out is necessary. Anti chain damage plus six. They're basically giving you like some of the best chips in the game. At least for 9S. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It was looking at the wrong thing. I was like, wait, what? Uh, what was I doing again? Okay. Where's the anti-chain damage one? Is that defense? This is two seconds. Four seconds. For seven more, I could do this. Wow. Uh, 
for four seconds. What? The effect for HP max up has been exceeded. You can only double your HP. Okay. How's it been exceeded, though? I thought I had only up to that much. Yeah. I can only put it up to this much. Okay. Yeah, I have it. Okay. I don't know why it showed that. You know why? Because I, I think I moved one of them, and it was like, it, it probably assumes that you might be trying to add another one. Yeah, okay. So you can only double your health, which is more than enough anyway. Analysis. There are two blocking devices on this floor. Proposal. Pack into all blocking devices. Is this where we're going to find both of them? In, in the same hack space? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Shit. It's my worst nightmare. Okay. We gotta go the other way for the other one. I understand. Oh, okay. So the meat box was for battle. It's like, you know, testing the body. The soul box is for testing the mind, which we hack into enemies. So what's the last one going to be? The faith box? I don't even know how that would work out. The belief box? Who would even be willing to do this shit to 9S? Wow, tough enemies, dude. Fuck, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, okay, that was way easier. That one was way easier. Tower system outline. The tower facility processes and computerizes resources sent by its resource recovery units for use in its launch device. Made up of 256 stratum, it can filter and compress information uh, with a turbidity of less than 2,300 and have it recorded into the payload in approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, details regarding routes and required for the re details regarding routes required for the digestion of androids are recorded separately. The allowed diversity learning rate uh, error rate is 7.21 percent. I have no clue what I just read. Structure is some kind it, of it's supposed to jettison it into space. A that size could probably shoot something yeah, into what space the fuck? Easily. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server? Oh, that's anymore. hilarious. Insufficient data. <laughs> Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. Analysis. There are three blocking devices on this floor. Yeah. And I hack into all of them, right? Start with this crazy one over here. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. Okay, nothing interesting there. Uh, I mean, dying in these doesn't really matter, but, you know, I just don't want to do it. I want to pretend like I'm actually, you know, playing carefully and stuff. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
Oh wow, you do have to do this one. Never mind, dying does actually have an effect. This one, this might be the hardest hacks in the game then. Yeah, because you have to start completely over. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna scream. I'm not ready for this. I, I might as well just kill myself and then just start this over again because there's no way I'm going to be able to do this now. I would need to flawlessly hack this shit. Shit, I moved myself in the wall again. I need to not get hit before I get to that last room. Okay, cool. I wonder if you have to kill these three. Probably. It wouldn't just let you get away with not killing three of them. There's not really much of an 8-bit version of this song, is there? And this time I do it flawlessly. <laughs> Power up part M. These things rotate and fire? I think they might. Oh, okay. See, people didn't like the Mass Effect hacking. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I like this game's hacking, too. Mass Effect's hacking I didn't think was too terrible. I mean, it was very simplistic. It's literally just Simon Says. Except for that one puzzle in Novaria that everyone always sweats over. Dude, what is that white box there supposed to be? It clearly has to be something. They wouldn't just put it there for no reason. do to you. They don't hurt you when they touch you. Oh god, here we go. I hate this so much. Alright, cool. Cure all and heal all. The following document details the final stages of Project Yorha. Note that this document is marked with, with level SS confidentiality. It should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel, including the Bunker Commander. Each Yorha unit is equipped with a black box, an item created by reusing the core of a machine life form. As such, it could be said that the consciousnesses of Yorha units and machine life forms share the same structure. Said black boxes were installed after determining that it will be inhumane to install standard AI and androids that are ultimately destined for disposal. For the record, malfunctioning black boxes have caused some Yorha units to turn hostile. 
Wow, so they wouldn't even put AI in the bodies of, of Yorha units. That means black box circuitry. you're all it's fundamentally the same. The machines. That's... No, that can't be true. Oh my god, this dude is gonna snap, and when he snaps, you're gonna hear it from orbit. Even the even the commander did not know that. Investigate the next area. Good God, man. That's ridiculous. Wow. Uh oh. What's going on here? My body. Those are my memories. But why? Is this the Kingdom Hearts moment? I love you, 2B. Which is why I have to kill you here. That's 2B's data. I know these are just memories. But still. No, don't. Don't do this. Damn it, stop! To who? Stay the hell out! Of my goddamn memories! These belong to me and me alone! Get away from them! Even hack it? What would he even do? Oh, okay, well, you could just hack it as normal. That's right, I knew I wasn't gonna get hit through all that. I was gonna get hit by this, though. And now I'm gonna fail the hack. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you want to kill as many as you can before the purples start getting thrown out because I can't see shit when there's this much on the screen man I just can't I can't do it oh he, he threw something okay well whatever uh, I should probably start using mediums I just need to save larges for like actual boss fights you know Thank you. Something different. No, that's not much better. God damn, I got bodied. Bro, I'm just trying to take enough hits so I can kill before. I, I can't. Come on, you're dead. Stop this. You're going down. He's gonna be him stabbing 2B. They're mine! My memories! You hear me? Told you. Honestly, deserves to suffer this much. <laughs> yeah, he's done. This dude is mentally baked. Ocean access key. Okay, let's see what our lovely starring lady, A2, is up to. This is the current status of Unit Yeah, he's like, what the fuck? Affirmative. His <laughs> state has become Even, I can't believe it. 
Action must be taken immediately. Select a unit to monitor. Oh, wow, they, they force you to monitor A2. It appears that A2's memory region has combined with 2B's data. Current, uh, currently monitoring uh, progress to analyze effect. Hold, hold pod 42. Issue detecting your conversational, uh, conversational functionality. Numerous machine life forms whose network functions were destroyed remain out of control. Please take caution. Affirmative. They force you to play as, two, as A2. 9S is clocked the fuck out, homie. They're mine, you hear? <laughs> Good morning, A2. What the? Analysis. Your high unit A2 was restarted 5 minutes and 42 seconds ago. The cause was excessive strain due to battle against a large machine life form. All this goddamn sand is starting to piss me off. Alert. Fuel filter performance deteriorating. Fine particulate matter seems to have entered the filter while fighting in the desert. Proposal. Replace the faulty part immediately. You make it sound so easy. Records indicate said part was once used at the resistance camp. Yeah, they always talk about filters. Okay. Alright, so we actually have to go replace it. I like how I went completely past the warp point. So you hold? Yeah. Come on. Let's have some fun. That is definitely like a bayonetta line. That that is definitely the platinum games touch right there. Hilarious. Okay. Wait, where can't she warp to? I guess she has to go deal with Pascal, because we could go to Pascal's village. Yeah. Is there any way we could get there now? Yeah, let's see if we could go to Pascal's village first. I like RPGs that have multiple endings. The thing is, like, I kind of hope that I don't have to replay too much of the game in order to try to get other endings and stuff. Like, if I'm locked into it and I have to do full playthroughs again, I'm not doing that. But apparently, like, you could get at least a couple just from doing progressing off of this. So, I don't know how much replaying that entails, but ideally it doesn't entail too much. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. I forgot to do this. For some reason, these two share plug-in chips. Okay, what did, I, what did I equip on this chip again? Melee defense. I think I have a better anti-chain damage, right? Yeah, I just got one. If I take this off, I think I should be able to slot it. Oh god, fucking optimize this shit, please. 24. Oh no, I need to lose two. Oh my god, I'm gonna take off something else. Mini map, objectives. Display tech. Wait, display tech showing your current objective. Do I even need that? Oh, she has no support. Oh, my God. I'm fucked. I'm never going to be able to put that on. Yeah, maybe we don't take the melee defense. Yeah, I won't take the melee defense. It's kind of weird to have that on 9S and not her. Uh, resilience. 
She has the HP max, right? Yeah, she does. Recover 20% damage dealt as HP. Uh, what am I trying to fit on? Because I'm pretty much stuffed at this point. There's not really anything else to put on. I have 8 points. That's why I'd probably put Shockwave on. Critical rate plus 3. I'm crying right now. I can't put on anything I need. can't even use anything in there yeah i don't i don't even know what to put on there's, there's like nothing that you could really put on here for, for this amount we have to keep some of these right just basic stuff and that's it that's why it's so hard to figure out what to remove because there's only like six or seven chips that i even have plugged in evade range i'm trying to get wait what am i trying to get again i don't even remember at this point it's not deadly heal right wait what's damage absorb Chance to re restore 30% of damage taken. That might actually be good. I mean, I'm not going to have anything else. Yeah, it's the melee defense, but there's no way I'm going to lose 16 points. It's impossible. There's, there's just no way. I mean, this is arguably better since I'm more capable of killing enemies, honestly. But this is better for bosses, if I'm able to hit bosses. So where's the heal over time? The passive heal. Right? I have seven. After six seconds of not taking damage, restore one per... Oh, it's 1.2%. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. I guess I'll put it back on like a one... A level one chip. I don't have any. Alright, fuck it. This is the best I can do. No. Let's not go in here. According to the memory data of Unit 2B, the residents of this village have been determined to be safe. I'm not interested in killing a bunch of sad sacks. Jeez. Yeah, she just doesn't want to go talk to Pascal. In fact, that's what that's what Pascal said earlier, is that she intentionally seems to be avoiding the village. Yeah, so I guess we just have to go there. I guess that's going to be her campaign. Is Her campaign is like finding some usage of self, you know? She has to figure out something about, like, who she wants to be. Because she's just, like, wandering since something bad happened to her ages ago. I don't know, though. And now she has two B's memories and they're merging with hers and stuff. That's not here? I guess we have to leave and enter, you know? We gotta simulate it. Oh, it's Pascal! Help me. Are those machines fighting each other? At one HP, by the way. Thank you so much for saving me. You're a machine, too. Machines don't have souls. They're just murder bots with a fancy name. They kill Says the so murder bot with us. a fancy name. And I swore to make them pay. Uh, I see. If that will save your soul, then so be it. Oh, shit. No, let her live. Aren't going to kill me? 
just shut up and leave before I change my mind. You... No. Never mind. You have my thanks. Wow. So that must be something that determines an ending. You could either kill Pascal or, or, or spare them. That has to be something that determines an ending. If you're worried about anything, you could always talk to me. Uh, I don't know. I'm worried about a lot, but you're pre-programmed. I'm not going to get much help out of you, am I? All right, so now she can use the shop. You know, Fuel Filter Rancho has a supply trader over there. No, we really are supposed to is talk to Anemone. Number two, you're still alive. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch, Anemone. You survived, that's all that matters. Though I fear that all of your fighting companions are long gone. I had to kill number 21 with my own hands. I'm sorry. No, it's... That's right, did you know there was a Yorha member here named 2B that looked just like you? She's... She's dead, what? To be as dead, I killed her. She was infected with the logic virus. Oh. Please make yourself at home in our camp. I'll have someone show you around. Not necessary. Her memories are contained in this sword. I see. You can go ahead and use her old room then. And I'm in charge of camp here. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. Okay. If you feel the first time I'm all out, you need to ask an anemone. Okay. Oh, motherfucker! I forgot about that! Okay, I gotta remember to come back here as 9S if I still can. I remember that now. Damn. Sure. Yes. I wonder why they ask you specifically when you use beds if you want to continue the game or not. Then when you got a question for you, any chance you could spare a fuel filter? I'm afraid our supply recently ran out. Pascal makes them for us, so you could go pick up one directly if you'd like. Pascal, you know him? You trade with the enemy? His village is different. They never cause us any harm. No way, forget it. This may be hard to understand, but we forge an alliance and trade materials when the need arises. We can't be picky about how we reach our goals around here. And besides, we aren't so far gone that we kill machine life forms after they surrender. Yeah, so maybe if you kill Pascal, that's a bad ending, because you can no longer get a fuel filter. Alert. A broken filter will cause significant problems with fuel distribution. Proposal. Replace the faulty part immediately. Yeah, I know. Coordinates confirmed for a colony centered around the machine life form known as Pascal. Location marked on map. You don't know when to shut up, do you? <laughs> Alright. Now we could go to Pascal's village, which is empty and everyone's dead in it anyway. They're fine. What? This is a colony of pacifists. Oh, maybe this takes place before 9S's campaign. Pascal. It is logical for a large number of machine life forms to be present. This pod has concerns regarding your high unit A2's predictive skills. I'd be more concerned about me smashing your face if I were you. Did you catch your eye? Yeah, so maybe this takes place before. Oh shit. I mean, obviously your equipment and everything is, is shared, so we can't really count that. So I cannot be further enhanced this shot. Okay. I mean, not like there's really much to enhance anyway. You can go see the guy in the forest and he told me how to make things. I can vouch for his talent. Yeah, okay. Only thing I don't have is item scan, which I think is kind of useless. Unless it's unless that works on hidden items, then it's pretty much useless. Which maybe it does, but I'm not gonna get around to that. It's the woman from before. Thank you for rescuing me. 
Now then, how can I help you? Um... Your her unit A2 possesses a faulty fuel filter. She has obtained information from Anemone, leader of the resistance camp. She has traveled to this village in order to obtain a new filter and summary. Request. One functional fuel filter. You only need to spell it all out like that? Analysis. A2's lack of verbal communication made this pod's assistance necessary. Shut up. I see, I see. Selling a bit sure on materials. I really need rigid tree bark to create a filter, but the only location I know of is guarded by ferocious machine life forms. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't make a filter at the moment. Confirmation, A2, Unit A2 will secure and deliver rigid tree bark. Don't confirm that by yourself. Areas where rigid tree bark is available marked on map. God damn it. Analysis. Hostility toward the peaceful machine life form Pascal is pointless from an energy usage standpoint. Proposal. Form a friendly relationship immediately. Dude, you this pod is trolling. Yeah, this pod is trolling right now. <laughs> Oh, okay, we have to go there. What what A2 quests are there? Doesn't really seem like there's any. Yeah. No, there's one right here. The Halfwood Inventor is still around. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have any money, do I? I got 30,000. Like, I don't know how much more I could possibly give this dude. Wait, did I miss him? Change our minds about investing. A meager. Okay, I gotta get a hundred thousand. I think this is the final step for it, so I might as well do it. Yeah, this must take place before. This whole place is going to get wrecked here. And that's actually kind of sad. Shit. See, I don't know what I could sell for parts that aren't, like, hard to find, like, upgrade materials, you know? This is hard. Yeah, power part S. Use this to make your pod stronger. And M. Okay. Shattered earring. Oh, these these can flat out just be exchanged for money, I guess. A choker. <laughs> I guess you really just sell machine cores. There's no way, right? An aquatic machine. What the fuck? You could sell your android chip. You know, nothing, nothing major. Just for 28 gold, you could kill yourself. That is a. That's a very interesting uh, take on things. That's all I'll say on that. Come again, yeah, now I have no money. So you could just kill yourself, but I'll, I'll, I'll pay you money and give you the thing. No, 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 they pay you, but you'd be dead, so they could just technically take their money back, and they have an Android OS chip, and you're now dead. It's like a win-win for them. Are you certain? The time has come, the time for the foremost genius of his generation to perfect the greatest invention of the age. Right then, off to work. I know I can make it happen. One week later. So I complete the greatest invention of this or any generation. Or it was meant to be. Sadly, I have failed. It was meant to be a launch tower for sending rockets to the very moon itself. And while the craft did soar into the lofty darkness of outer space, regrettably it did not reach the moon. Instead, it landed on Mars. 
It's all damnably frustrating. I'm the world's foremost genius, after all. Never before have I sipped the bitter brew of defeat. Wow. So you pay him a bunch of money and you don't get shit out of it, homie. Amazing. Yeah, that's the end of the quest. Oh, see, look, yeah, these can't be completed anymore. The Wandering Couple also can't be complete. Parade Escort. Gathering Keepsakes. Apparently it's not over. Okay. So we've cleared about half the quests in the game. Thanks to your magnanimous investment, the self-proclaimed genius was ready to undertake the invention of a lifetime after a while, a gigantic structure that reached beyond the limits of your vision appeared. A structure that was in truth a launching platform that could send its payload to the moon. I'm not sure if that will play any effect into like an ending or something, because it sounds pretty like important, you know? Especially since the base... Isn't that what the whole point of the other tower is supposed to be? Oh shit, this is the wrong exit. Whoops. I like how the pot is basically forcing her to be nice and to be more humane. Actually, let's just teleport. Can't press left. What? I, 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 I don't even know. I guess it's like a mandatory story thing. You couldn't get it before otherwise anyway. Huh. Oh shit. No, I forget. You actually have to play the game. You could get hit like right immediately after doing the dash counter. And there's, there's not really much you can do to change that. I mean, this is, I mean, how much more easy can this get on some level, right? Like I could just basically heal just by virtue of doing this over and over. Basically by shooting, I regenerate health now. That's why that's also probably pretty good, because it means I'm using less items to heal over time. Obviously, defeating enemies is the big one, but that's why these two are probably some of the best that I could even have. Like, look at that. Didn't even take any damage at the end of it. <laughs> this game is just a run around shooter now. These aren't the guys I need to kill for this, by the way. Oh shit, whoops. That's a new attack.
Yeah, I think the four seconds immunity is also ridiculously good, too. That's a long time to be immune for four seconds. Thank you. Potentially want to trigger that. Yeah, you could just basically run around enemies and just heal. Not to mention, after so many seconds of not taking damage, I start to heal anyway. So I got all my healing all set up. Like, after so many seconds of just not doing anything anyway, I heal automatically. I could also put on the heal beam. If I ever found that fucking third pod, I would have put on the heal beam as well. But I, I think I'm fine for right now. What is this dude even doing? Okay, I didn't even see that. Dude, why is he just running away? What the fuck? Okay, you just go completely invisible. Like we're on Dragon Ball levels right here. Revenge. Uh, Pascal. What? Yo, is my left messed up? No, it isn't. I think I'm just pressing it too quickly. Like, it has to open the menu first and then push it. Oh, man. So, really, what do you do if Pascal's dead? Yeah, the, I, I guess that that must just be a game over. You must continue playing for the like the five minutes needed to go inside and talk to Anemone, and then she's like, "Oh, Pascal can make them," and then obviously it's a game over at that point because there will there's no more Pascal. Here's your stuff. Uh, thank you so much. I'll make a filter right away. Please just give me one moment. <laughs> he can fly. Damn, that's fast. The machine life form Pascal has returned. Fuel filter. Oh, you have to thank him? There you go. I too, can I help you with something? You gave me that filter for free earlier. I need to pay you back. It would bother me otherwise. I'm conscientious of you. If you think of something, let me know. I do have a bit of a problem now that you mention it. A ferocious monster has been attacking our children in the area where they play. Could I possibly trouble you to slay it for us? I do hope you'll agree. We don't really have anyone else to ask. Thank you so much. I promise to repay you for the trouble. I thought I was repaying you. What? Yeah, because this ladder's broken. So this all takes place before 9S wakes up. Hostile machine life forms detected. Where does this lead to? Oh, it's a it's a solitary shack. Okay. Man, I love the movement in this game. It, lo it just looks so good. We heard you defeated that nasty creature. Thank you so much. Here's your reward. 
I built this village because I detest fighting. I want to stand as a monument to the power of peace. When we surrendered our weapons, we lost the ability to defend ourselves. Now many within the village want us to rearm and vanquish nearby enemies in order to preserve our peace. What do you think we should do, A2? Dunno. That's for you to decide. Yes, I suppose so. But let your villager friends know. If anyone tries to attack me, I'll wipe this place clean off the map. I'll make a firm note of it. A2, if you like, you're welcome to take a look around our village. It would be nice for you to know more about us. Sure, if I feel like it. Oh, here we go. This is like her version of, of, of stuff that she could do. Hello, A2. I appreciate all the time and effort you took for our children. Every one of them is a singular treasure to me. Indeed, they are treasures to the entire village. Our very future rests in their little hands. I imagine you find it odd for machines to speak of the future like this. I don't know. I trust that our children can stand strong against the senseless conflicts of this world and blaze a new trail for our people. However, one of the children is suffering from a faulty storage element. We don't do something for the child, so repair it already. Alas, we lack the parts to do so. They can only be found deep within the abandoned factory and that area is swarming with terrible machines. It pains me to say this, but you A2 are the only one we can turn to. Thank you so much. The required part is in the area known as the abandoned factory. I truly do appreciate this. they want me to get. Alright, we have to. It's, it's something you have to pick up from there. Okay. Sis, hey, big sis. Huh? Come on, big sis. Play with us. I don't play with machines. Now get lost. Come on, I want to play with you. I'm an android weirdo. I'm your enemy. So do what I say before I kick your sorry ass. Tee <laughs> you're funny. It's not supposed to make you happy. Big sis. Make us something to play on, big sis. What? No, but we need something to play on. It's boring right now. Seriously? They sell stuff in the tool shops. Let's go, go buy something. Sure. Let's quit bugging me already. Yay, we did it! Oh, here's the actual quest we're supposed to do. We'll, we'll come back for it. Welcome. You're looking for play equipment for children. Free. We don't have anything like that in stock. So I could build something with proper materials. Here's a list of what I need, blah, blah, blah. Everyone around here is weirdly pushy. Don't be absurd, we are not. You should be able to find what you need at the amusement park. That's forever from here. Excellent. This is going to suck. Ah, yep. Yeah. It is. So we need to go into the factory, which is going to be great, because then we have to run out of the factory again, since there's no further warp inside the factory we could use. Say what the fuck? I really wonder what that red glow is supposed to be. Okay. Oh, I need 9S to come back here. Okay, so I, I, there's a lot of places I need to go with 9S. Oh, she can get down here. Oh, this is way cooler. Gotcha. A long elevator, right? your enemy, you weirdo. His face is... Oh, his head fell off. That's right. I was about to say, his face is weirdly smooth. Yeah, so basically I need 9S to come revisit the entire factory and that one thing in Anemone's place. Which I'm not going to remember to have him do. Trying to find 
There's like two warp points in here. Somewhere. Yeah. The hangar. And then the furnace. I'd like to be able to get them, but I don't know. Yeah, the whole place is permanently shut down. Well, there's enemies, of course. Level 60? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It's right here. There we go. Well, there you have it. This is the furnace? No, this is the hangar, I guess. All right, where is my actual quest? I have no clue. Toy materials, storage element. Where is it? It's, it's not marked on the map anymore. Maybe it's just, maybe I did the, let me, okay, let me go back up top. Yeah, because I, I tried to use this thing before, but it wouldn't open, I don't think. I think it, it wouldn't let you interact with it. Maybe I messed up. Maybe I just need to kill all the enemies in the room. I don't really remember. Maybe they were, like, friendly, but maybe you need to kill them all anyway, and then you could... Uh, let's continue on. I only have about an hour more to play anyway, so hopefully we'll finish A2's chapter by then. Whoops. And if not, then uh, we'll obviously continue. I could see myself finishing this game in like another session or two. Because I've, I've been playing for just about, uh, do I have exactly an hour? Yes, I literally have exactly an hour. So we're going to have about three hours worth of footage, roughly. Three, three hours and 45 minutes-ish. I'll play either till the end of this uh, A2 section, or... Uh, I guess my time runs out whichever happens first see now i can see my objective i couldn't see it when i was that low so i guess it has to be up here oh yeah you notice not having the melee defense My one thing is, like, I kind of like these fights a little bit with the ridiculous camera angles, but I also kind of am not a huge fan of them, just because you can't really see too well what's coming at you. That'd be, like, the one thing is, like, off-screen attacks, I think, were maybe done just a bit better in Metal Gear Rising, because you could see the glint even from off-screen when you would do them. That, that's, that's, like, the only thing I would say. It's not terrible in this game, and, and it's certainly better than average, because you could still see the glint a little bit. Maybe Metal Gear Rising just did it way too much, and they didn't want to go that far in depth with it. I got the shit knocked out of me. I 
I did not dodge that one. He just ran out of space. You know, you know what is tonight? Because it's Saturday. Fucking Toonami, homie. Now that's the good shit. This is the shit you gotta live for, man. I'm telling you, I, I really just, I, I enjoy the things that I've always liked in my life, you know? I, I, I always have, and I always will at this rate, you know? And actually, it doesn't bother me that I still like the same stuff I did as a kid. Why would I not want to play video games? There we go, storage Empty element. machines destroyed. So this is the part Pascal wanted? Can't believe I'm killing machines to save a machine. <sighs> Don't be such an edge lord. Better go see Pascal. All right, well, at least now we know how we can get downstairs and do stuff downstairs. The thing is, is I wanted to do it for 21-0's quest, and I can't do that anymore. I guarantee you, like, the best near player in the world is, like, permanent berserker mode, taunts nonstop, probably, like, five shots bosses on almost, on whatever difficulty, right? But you have to be flawless with that. I, I, I could not do that. I used to be, the only game I was ever good at was DMC4. I got pretty decent in DMC4, and then one day I just stopped playing it. And I actually kind of regret that, and I didn't even get all the fucking achievements for it, so. It's depressing, but it is what it is. What was I doing? I don't even remember. Uh, we need to go to the amusement park, right? Yeah. We need to find the toy parts. get them from just laying around oh yep play with us forever oh my god there's another one here too um dude i'm never gonna remember to come get this shit A lovely choker remember when remember when women used to wear chokers all the time I mean, they still can, they still do, but I remember when it was like a big cultural fad. Actually, I have a friend who I think wears chokers. I get to know a lot of different people. I'm that fat dude who plays games. Pretty sweet. It's over here. I gotta remember to bring 9S again. Oh, are we gonna have to fight this stupid tank again? Hopefully not. Finally, this should be everything I need to make those bratty kids happy. Better take it to that creep in the tool shop. Like I said, I really like open world games. I think just because, like, sometimes having a, a nice big open world is, like, really cool. You know, it's fun to explore stuff. Everyone has a different playthrough because you're not just hitting up the same linear elements over and over. Right? You get to familiarize yourself. I'm glad that that's just becoming like a staple of a lot of games now. It's one of my favorite things that's happening to video games. And a lot of people, like some game, not every game needs it. But you know. 
where it is around, it's pretty fucking cool, man. Next thing would be to have like a full on RPG do that. Uh, what was I doing? There you go. Give me a moment. Five minutes later. Done. I built what you requested and installed it where the children like to play. That was fast. By the way, the children said they wanted to thank you personally. They're at the top of the village playing near the slide. They'll be happy to see you, I'm sure. They're going to play the kids' song again. I've been fine. I'm always fine. Hey, too, you have the part need to repair the child. I cannot thank you enough. This is meager compared to what you've done, but please take it. Honestly, we could have transferred the child's core to another body instead of repairing the original. This process allows, our, uh, allows us to resurrect ourselves as many times as we want. However, it comes at the cost of our memories. So in a way, he would no longer be the same child. Thankfully, this is no longer an issue. Thank you so much. Alright, weird machine says nothing. I saw the sky go super bright. I bet it was one of those shooting star thingies. I should make a wish. Oh, is this another 9S lock? Oh my god. I'm not going to remember all these 9S locks. I got to go into the factory and do stuff. I wish I could just switch characters. Just do it real quick. Hey, it's Big Sis. Big Sis, thanks for help building this, Big Sis. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Big Sis, what now? We just want to give you something because you helped us. I leveled up. Nice. It's a thank you present. Yeah, thank you. Ah, A2. Oh, Pascal. Don't do that, Pascal. I apologize if I scared you. Heard you built some play equipment for our children and wanted to thank you in person. Don't worry about it. Try to overwork yourself, all right? Feel free to pay us another visit whenever you like. A group of pacifist machines, huh? Hypothesis. Forming a harmonious relationship with Pascal and the villagers may help Unit A2 to obtain more materials. Proposal. Investigate the village. Hmm. Medium recovery. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is the slide. It's actually... Yeah, it did help. Look, I can go back and forth up. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. That's cool. That that totally, like, shortcuts traveling around the village. I'm surprised I couldn't do it sooner. That, that's awesome. Getting tired of looking at the same view every day. Maybe I'll go for a walk. It's been a while since I last went outside. I really, I really respect Pascal, you know? I mean, he's the one who thought to build this village for us outcasts. I really just show him how thankful I am. Only well, there was some way to thank him. Some way. Leave before you get dragged into something. Yeah, yeah, I could take the hand. No, hand, I just want to show Pascal how appreciated he is. Anyway, I think he, was, he would like a new philosophy book. Sure. Apparently someone named Anemone has a large collection of such books, so go steal one. Yeah, we'll just ask her for it. Like, you wouldn't think a song consisting of a child saying la la to, like, a piano would be good. You could, you could throw that out for a lot of different games. But I think Nier just has, like, a very fitting soundtrack. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about the game is like this and Persona 5 are like breakout JRPG soundtracks. Got that hot fire, dude. Pascal wants books on philosophy? Well, as it happens, I just finished this one the other day. You're welcome to take it if you like. Could you give him this gold ore as well? He's been asking for this for a while and I finally managed to get my hands on some. Pen Pensez? Seems odd that a machine life form would be into philosophy, don't you think? Makes me wonder how much we really know about our enemy. I wonder. Uh-oh.
this is not good. Whenever a game does something like this, this is actually bad news. Oh. By the state ceaseth, there only commenceth the man who is not superfluous. I see. It seems this Nietzsche was quite a profound <laughs> thinker. Amazing. Perhaps he skipped right past profound and went straight to crazy instead. Oh well. Enough of that. I best go see the world for myself instead of burying my head in books. Wait, what? Oh, we're playing as Pascal. say stuff like that. Something bad. Something awful. That's why they're playing this music. The village is done for, man. Great. Now I just have to bring this to Pascal. Yeah, they're done. A2, can you hear me? Oh, perfect. Help, A2. I have the materials. The village is in to... great trouble. The villagers are... <laughs> Pascal. Pascal, are you there? What the hell is going on? Hypothesis. The valuable source of information... Okay, now I'm a little pissed at you right now, homie. Shut up and let's Proposal. teleport. Unit A2 should investigate Pascal's village immediately. I'm on my way. Uh-oh, we have to run over there. That's bad. This is really bad. I guess this is the point of no return for Pascal's, uh... Just in general. Alright, homie, you gotta relax. There you go. It's an emergency. Calls for the most speed that we can get. Oh shit! Alright, he's fine. He's, he's really not fine. Oh, oops. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. A2 suddenly felt like taking a little stroll, though the walk gave her a sense of peace and fulfillment. Pascal's village had been reduced to rubble when she returned. Yeah, it's, a, it's an ending. Break time! <laughs> There you go, we found ending M by com literally by complete accident. Because I guess I went too far off the beaten path. There's a specific way they want you to go to get to that, and I, I don't know what it is, but that's hilarious. Good thing I quick saved. You see, this is why we do quick saving all the time. Hilarious. I might have to get the book again, though. I don't know if I quick saved after that. You yeah, know, I did, right? And then I went down to transfer and you couldn't. Okay, I'm good. I guess you have to go along that path and only that path. And if you go too far else any other way, the game is like, yep, I'm ending him. And you see, that that's some cool shit. I don't mind if it's like a little side thing. You know, you find it out. You go right back to the main meet. All right, so we really can't teleport? Not even close to it? Yeah, no, okay. That's kind of a very interesting way to be able to find endings, you know? Alright, I'm not going to take the, the thing. You know, you just randomly decide, I'm going to take a little stroll. Yeah, you're in trouble, but whatever, fuck it. <laughs> Oh man, that's all I needed to do. We've got. Failed 
notification received from access point. Yeah, but she hasn't been connected to the network in ages. Well, I'm going to wait to read it, because whatever it is is not going anywhere anyway. It's probably a scheduled correspondence, and as you see now, because no one's manning it, it's just doing whatever the hell it wants. Before, at least they could customize it based on the Yorha members on the moon. Now, who cares? It's just, it's just randomly doing shit, right? You know, the more truth I find out in this game, like how they're actually the same stuff and everything, by the way, these are sparks and embers, the, the worse I feel, man. Well, isn't this nice? man can we just have something good happen for once I, I i can't i can't have any more depression anymore this is ridiculous just some just for once something good happens to someone in this game oh i think i killed the guy maybe i can't get off the ladder what Oh my god. I can't get off the ladder. <laughs> Come on. What the hell is this? Oh shit, they decked the shit out of you. Jean Paul. Yeah, all those other machines are fucked. That's probably why they had you do all the building and everything so that you could feel like you're helping the village and building it up. And then look at this now, everything is just destroyed. Yeah, so 9S's whole segment takes place after this, because this was not like this before. So we're, we're getting a little bit of past, present, and future by watching 9S's segment. Oh my god. Worst enemy. I even said to Double Prime I should have stopped playing this game at Ending B. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I really should have. Because it was happy. It was like a good ending, right? Like, you could end there, you'd feel like, okay, the sequel will be lit, things feel good, and instead, I'm, I, it's just been suffering since then. I, I, I don't even know what to tell you, man. And it has not stopped yet. And, and at this rate, I don't even know what's going to happen, man. I guess we have to go down here. It's probably the, the last place. What the hell is this? Oh, 
No, it was the gentle giant dude. They're all dead. Every single one of them. Who am I under attack from? What? Oh, there's another one of these. I hope you can see why these are my least favorite enemy. I think it's extra fucked up that you can blow up their bodies, or whatever. I guess we're never gonna get to give Pascal that book. he come out of? Oh, I see. That's pretty cool, actually. It just breaks your lock on. You know what? Okay, credit for this. This is pretty cool. You can just cartwheel with them. <laughs> is that all of them? Hello. Uh -oh. Scan for survivors. Scanning. No life signs detected. None, huh? Pascal, can you hear me? Hey, too. How is my village? My people? All gone. I'm sorry. I couldn't help them. Oh, no. Are the children all right? I've taken them to the abandoned factory. All right. I'm on my way. Wait, okay, this is John Paul's place. What, just like the entrance? Yeah, okay. Why would you take him here? Why not take him to the resistance camp? I don't know. I mean, it was pretty obvious this place was destined to get destroyed. Just, you saw it, you could see it coming. It's like, there's no way they're gonna let this village full of innocent machines go. This has to be some kind of tragedy or calamity that would happen. happened I don't know some of the villagers just started to feed on each other if you hadn't come along I'm sure we would have met the same grim fate thank you yeah but what now is this factory safe so is this factory safe it was once occupied by a cadre of fellow machines that had gone berserk however to be took care of that threat it is quite safe now. We've been using it for storage for some time. All right. Can't you regenerate them? Query. We understand that machine life forms can regenerate. Yeah, but no memories. That's the problem. Materials. Is this accurate? Unfortunately, we cannot regenerate our cores. Cores contain the data which forms our self-consciousness. If one is destroyed, there is no way to restore it. We usually store our cores in safe places, but this time, the villagers had their cores destroyed as well as their bodies. I see. Yeah, so they're gone for good. So, if we're gonna hole up here, I wish we had more info to work with. Proposal. Unit A2 should secure the safety of Pascal and the children immediately. What's the hurry? Haste is predicated on data obtained from the recently restored cross-regional pod network. Wait, there's more of you? Affirmative. Cross-regional data reveals a large number of machine life forms are oh, missing great. these ruins. What? And here they are! Let's go! Oh, A2! What? No, not them! What the fuck? Why would they even let you fucking lock onto the children? What's wrong with this game? Or rather... Enemy reinforcements are infiltrating What's wrong with me? I'll smash them before they can reach this room. You, you must let me help you. I will smash them up and kill them. 
No. I will smash them up and kill them. I will smash them this up. This is the and most disturbing them. thing I've ever heard Pascal say, man. I we're all we're not making it out of this. I, I give up. Oh my god. <laughs> We can sort it out later. Right now we have to take him down. Motherfucker. Yo, Pascal's a murder bot, dude. Did you see that beam? I see that like a, a strong attack does like really strong counter whereas a square is a launcher gotcha I know it's a little bit late to figure that out these bastards won't stop a2 I have an idea please buy me a bit of time no that's never going to end well Landed on it. Come on, Goliath's too. <laughs> Yo, what is what happened? Why why are the tanks here? Corner. Goliath Tank. What other game does the warning enemy approaching thing like this game does? I don't remember. I think, oh, Bayonetta does it. I, I forget, there's another game that does it. My only complaint is, again, as you see, projectiles can go through shit. Even if I, even if they would, you know, not allow me to go in there, that would be fine. I just think projectiles shouldn't pass through solid objects. There's also slowing down the PlayStation. He's dead. I'm gonna get that back. They have to blow up for you to get the health back. Ludicrous, get out of this fucking tank, dude. Shit, okay. We're fine, I'll just kill one of them. Or I'll just run and shoot. <laughs> there you go. Healing, what's that? Oh my god, okay. Don't get me wrong, the, the machines still have plenty of annoying moves. Like, like Ludicrous over here, just literally living up 2006 again. Goodbye. Dude, A2 might have some of the best segments in the game. Oh, we're hurt? Oh, shit. Do the one thing that they hate, which is to murder it, murder the shit out of a whole bunch of robots. Oh, we're, we're playing. They let you get to do everything in this game. Right? 
Take. Something way big in the distance, one of those flying ones. You have to fight. Oh, he can just walk through this. I mean, obviously, a Goliath isn't really going anywhere, but you know. It just feels bad. She had to break the one promise she didn't want to make. Awful. What does Triangle do? Nothing? Okay. It's a, it's a pretty simple segment. There's not much she can do. Wham! How do we destroy the flying ones? And why, like, why are they mobilizing now? Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> kill, kill. Pascal versus Engels, baby. Fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> you want some more, bitch? Oh, I'll give you some more. Oh, here it comes. Oh! <laughs> Death, murder, kill, hatred. All right, bitch. Oh, no, you don't. No! Oh! All right, he whiffed, he whiffed, he whiffed. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, 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 come on. Hit this fucker. Goodbye, bitch. Oh, body blow. Rip that shit up. All right, fuck face. You've yeed your last haw, bitch. Oh. <laughs> the super flaming punch. Uh oh. Cut its face in half. Or maybe not. What is it gonna do? Form a. Uh, I thought maybe we were like bridging over to whatever the hell that is. <sighs> do I feel good? Yes, I had a good fun time. But do I feel good? No. It's like that moment when you do stuff, you know? Are you alright, A2? Yeah. You can't ever go Thanks back. For the assist. I fear for the children. Let us hurry to them. Oh, what? Playing as Pascal instead. Were well, we gonna have to play as Pascal as he goes crazy? He sees all the dead children in here. They came from the other door. Yep. They killed themselves? <laughs> oh, this game is beyond disturbing. No, no, how can this? <laughs> Their own course? They killed themselves. Why would they do such a thing? I taught them everything. All my thoughts and emotions. I thought it would serve them well in the future. But instead... How would teaching them lead to something like this? Fear. 
I don't understand. They had fear overwhelming. I told my children what fear is. I felt they had to know so they wouldn't rush heedlessly into danger. But instead... Fear destroyed them. It caused them to take their own lives. If I knew this could happen, I never would have... Don't ask me to kill I, you. I cannot live with this heartbreak inside me. I need you. I need you to delete my memories. And if not, then I need you to kill me. <sighs> you have to decide whether to kill. Oh, man. So this is probably another ending session because I don't know. Do we kill Pascal? Initiating hacking to cut off memory circuits. I guess we gotta do it. To cut yeah. Memory circuit. Pod. Pascal's memories. Understood. Initiating memory deletion procedure. Oh. It's gonna play all different moments that happen. Yep. My name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Ugh. This game is so fucked up. Yeah, I never lie. Uncle Pascal never lies. gonna happen when they wake up I mean for all we know Pascal will wake up and be a be an enemy Ugh, I've never been happier to I see this something while providing support to a2 enemy machine life forms have begun sharing data with each other we better look into that I'll share the data with you so see what you can find out affirmative I also have a separate report about 9s what is it? I'll share the data. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. We'd better handle that quickly, too. How do you plan to handle Agreed. it? They just keep saying they'll handle it, and they don't say what they're going to do about it. What? In transmission? Not sure what we should do. Exactly! They don't know! Agreed. <laughs> Proposal. Rest, combined with data checking and No, it's not going to work. Agreed. I will make the suggestion immediately. They're going to ignore it. You think 9S is going to listen to his pod? He didn't listen to you the first two t Oh, man. They don't know what to do. All they can do is analyze. They can't actually do anything. We're, we're so screwed. It's a Force 9S segment. Where's the next resource recovery unit? Alert. NFCS failure. Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Near field controls are down? Great. Oh, that's what Proposal. it stands for. Overhaul system at resistance camp. I don't have that kind of time. Alert. Entering battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable risk. Unit 9S should have Devola initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Shit. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you gonna do, homie, if you can't swing a sword or hack? You're, you're basically dead. But now, why is this happening? Is, is it just because of his psychological state is so out of whack, it's literally messing with his systems? Probably.
Well, I'm gonna stop here. I, I know that, oh look, even the access point is glitching out. Apparently A2 had new mail, a meal way bored. Hello there, I'm kind of bored out of my mind over here in my store, I've got some good stuff, or probably, from a meal. Yeah, he sent it to everyone, even 2B. Well, I think this is a pretty cool little touch, the access point's glitching out, but I guess now we're really in the final state of the game. So, when we continue next time, we might very well end the game. I'm going to try to make sure I get at least like a good four or five hours reserved just so we could do stuff and, you know, mess around and whatever. But man, I... To have such a fun, awesome segment juxtaposed with actual suffering and sadness, I never in a thousand years would have imagined that the kids would have killed themselves. Never. Not, not even, I could not imagine that. And I know this game is not afraid to show messed up stuff. I just figured like, oh, well, the irony of it would be that we weren't looking and they came from the other door. It would be like the dumbest mistake possible because we were so consumed with bloodlust. Not the kids just simply gave up. They had nothing else to live for. They were so afraid of, of dying that they would rather die by their own hand than, you know, go on and do anything else. But man, this game is deep. It's fucking tragic. Nothing good happens. And I don't know. But I, I mean, I'm so far ahead, I have to continue. I have to finish. So, next time, I mean, I guess we have one more of each of their segments, and then I guess we have the conclusion. So, we'll see what happens.